Live from the local station, News 4 Jax starts now. A local bar draws concerns from parents over a mannequin chained to a pole. The debate's happening near a school bus stop. The dispute boils down to a bar owner's freedom of expression versus a concerned mother's perception of indecency. The mother and other people in Clay County sharing their concerns. Drivers can spot a mannequin chained to a pole outside a bar in Keystone Heights, and it's called the Watering Hole at Smith Lake on County Road 214. A mother's concerned the display may be sending the wrong message to children who get on and off the bus at a stop that's right across the street. News 4 Jacks reporter Eric Avenier joins us live to explain both sides of the issue. Eric. Yeah, it's definitely an issue that is taking off. I was just checking the social media uh, and I can see that this is like really, really taking off with some of the comments. But as you said earlier on, uh, this is going to be a a bar owner's uh, freedom of expression versus a concerned mom's uh, her perception of indecency. Kimberly Newton says she and her seven year old son Caden were waiting for the school bus Friday morning on County Road 214 in Keystone Heights when her son gazed over at this mannequin and thought he was looking at a naked girl. My seven year old approaches and says, Mommy, why is there a half naked lady um, attached to a pole? And kind of took me by surprise. As I approached it, I did realize that it was clearly a mannequin, but at first glance, not really. So this is the bus stop where children are dropped off. Newton believes it's too close to a scantily clad mannequin. Is it really the perception that we want to give our children as as they're going to school to learn? The mannequin, which is named Ray, is a prop for a bar called The Watering Hole, located across the street from the bus stop. By Friday afternoon, controversy over the way the mannequin was dressed started to spread on social media. I don't even belong to Facebook, and I had people calling me like, you need to get on Facebook. Somebody, you know, is putting down your business. Candace Turner is one of the family owners of the watering hole. She says the mannequin is simply a harmless conversation piece, just like the many other conversation pieces inside the bar that are strategically positioned to get your attention. And we do change her clothes. She doesn't wear this, this, and... I don't know. I feel like it could have been handled before social media was brought into it. The owner went on to say that Ray is far more presentable than what kids might see in a shopping mall. Walk past Victoria's Secret and the storefront of them is a mannequin in lingerie. She is clothed. She just is wearing a red wig and sunglasses, but she's clothed nonetheless. Now, Newton tells me this would be less of an issue if the Ray, the mannequin, weren't out during times when children are getting on and off the bus. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.